Hey guys, I've been contemplating on whether or whether or not I should film a YouTube video today. Um, and I'm going out today and I've had this like Q&A. So I asked you guys to like send in questions for like a Q&A like ages ago, but literally ages ago. And I still haven't done it. And I tried filming it, but then my camera battery was dead and I didn't have time. And I was, it was a mess. So I honestly, I cancelled that one out. So I'm going to do it today. Hopefully this video actually makes it out of the drafts. Because I'm going out today. I leave at 4. It's two so i need to start getting ready so i'm gonna go have a shower and then i'm just gonna start getting ready i just need to make a few phone calls because <laughs> i'm a businesswoman like that don't play but i just need to do a few stuff before i actually start um getting ready to before i actually start getting ready for the video to do the q a so y'all sent in a bunch of questions let me show you guys so Y'all sent in a bunch of questions. Hopefully I can answer all of them, but I'm gonna answer all of them today. Um, these were sent like last year. No, this was sent in January. But yeah, okay, enough with the long intro. Let's just get into the video for real. So this is my setup, <clears throat> and I guess I'm just gonna start doing my makeup now and asking questions. Okay, uh, who's my best friend? So I have like three, two. I have like two. Both of them are named Michelle. So we have Michelle Lawrence and Michelle Maku. Me and Michelle Maku have been friends for I think eight, nine years, and me and Michelle Lawrence have been friends for nine, ten years. So. They are my best friends, and they are also my longest, like, friendships and, like, relationships. Oh, okay. I also just made, like, a new friend, like, recently in 2022. Her name is Raya. I would classify her as one of my best friends as well. Obviously, I've known the Michelle's longer. So, yeah. Yeah, my phone keeps on going off. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Okay. What's my favorite Nigerian meal? This is a really hard question because I actually know. Who am I kidding? Obviously, I don't want to be like, oh, jello fries, but like, I feel like as of now, I love a goosey ensemble. Like, a goosey my favorite soup, if made by the right person. My primer is almost finished, but I have a new one. This primer is so good, guys. But anyways, um, I think a goosey is my favorite, like, meal. Con like, I don't know, a goosey is just such a good, it's just so good like i know some people that don't like a goosey and i don't understand why or how because a goosey is so good like like how don't you like a goosey do you feel me hi isabel hello are you recording yeah all right oh my god that's so cool i never seen the camera like <laughs> she said i never seen the camera how do you even all right that was my cousin okay am i in college no i'm in high school yeah how have you been coping in the UK like you are young? Okay, so first of all, I'm not in the UK again, obviously. But when I was, honestly, it wasn't like that scary of an experience. You know, it was pretty chill, actually. It wasn't that bad of an experience. I liked it. Um, but it was, it was kind of scary going at first. But then I think I make friends really easily. That's what a lot of people say, at least and um i think i'm just like i'm not a people's person but i think because i can make friends easy and like you know i have a mentality that's like you know like yolo at least now no when i when i was in the uk i didn't have that yolo mentality but now i have that yolo mentality but i just like it wasn't it was just scary it wasn't scary traveling alone or going to a new country alone it was exciting and it was fun a lot of people think it was scary but i really it was something i really really wanted to do and i'm so grateful for my parents and for you know everyone that helped me get go to england obviously but yeah it was it was good it wasn't a scary experience in any way shape or form so yeah okay what's my favorite sport my favorite sport is volleyball um i used to swim when i was a child i still do kind of swim but like not competitively anymore but i really want to take my volleyball seriously because i really like volleyball and i just want to get better at it and i think it's something i would like to pursue in the future alongside with like acting which when i tell people they laugh at me because like you guys should see me play volleyball like oh i'm obviously not the best of the best but like you know with training and um you know with time i think i can actually make it 
in volleyball alongside with acting like just as a side thing you feel me you a chelsea fan nah i support arsenal um i don't actually know anything about football i just support arsenal because um, people are like support arsenal so i support arsenal my dad is a chelsea fan though i used to be a chelsea fan because my dad but now i'm not so that's that um okay how many sites do you have and what do you want to be when do you want to become when you grow up? I don't know what sites means. I feel like I messed that up. I feel like that wasn't the actual question. But what do I want to be when I grow up? Um, so if you know me, if you li like, even if you don't know me as a, like, we're not close. If you just know who I am, you know I want to be an actress. Like, that is, like, my number one goal in life, to make it in acting. And I've really started acting and doing small stuff, like, extras and, like, stuff in school. But I really want to broaden it. And I feel like coming to America will help me do that. Um... I'm trying to rush because, bro, I've made it's five minutes already and I've answered like no questions, bro. So, um, but yeah, I want to be an actress and yeah, it's a real job, guys, okay? And not all actresses are famous, but most actresses make good and steady income. So, even if I'm not famous, y'all, I just don't want to be an actress because it's still what I want to do with my life and I'm never going to give up until I make it because I know I will. How do you feel about being a celebrity kid? A kid, like a celebrity's child i guess do you feel like there's a pressure to be a certain way um so obviously whenever i'm like oh i have 100 followers on instagram everyone's like oh it's your parents your parents are like yeah and like people will be like oh you're just a nepotism child all you get is just because of your nepotism but i'm just like okay even if i'm a nepo baby do you know how hard it is to break in the industry in america talkless of nigeria i mean in nigeria talkless of america but um that was not even the question what am i saying yeah, I do feel pressure because I feel like every single thing I post on Instagram can just go like that. Like, um, so I'm, or any down and similar songs on Amazon Music. I didn't even ask them to play anything. Alexa, stop the music. But anyways, um, I just feel like there is a lot of pressure for me to be a certain way and do certain things. Like, I feel like what other teenagers do and get away with, I can't get away with it, you know? Like, I feel like one little mistake and I'm up like i know i've been on so many blog pages over the littlest stupidest things and it's just like whatever i post you, everyone can see like it's being monitored and one little mess up even if it's not deep to me it's gonna be deep to everyone else and they're gonna make it deep so i like i feel like i do have pressure and i also do have pressure to like uphold a certain kind of image to the public because all oh, my parents are this and my parents are that and i'm supposed to be this and supposed to be that but it's just really hard at times and sometimes i genuinely wish like i just i could just be like obviously i'm not like freaking millie brown child star but i do genuinely wish sometimes i could just be like a normal teenager for like a week bro and you know now that i've grown up with this i know that when i do become an actress and amen by god's grace i do break into the industry like it's just gonna be worse but i feel like nigerian i don't know how to say this in a way that will make me sound weird but i feel like nigerians take things really deep like the littlest things they take it really serious do you feel me um i'm not gonna say too much on that are you still pursuing your career in acting bro yes i am guys um i signed up for backstage it's like a casting website and i am definitely going to be submitting self tapes on there and um doing that kind of stuff on backstage yeah what grade are you in i'm in grade 10 which is year 11 so i'm a sophomore in high school year 11 um what do i do next in my makeup routine i do blush mm. i use lipstick for blush which is really odd my friends are texting me but who's my favorite artist i guys don't actually flame me but i genuinely think now my favorite artist is olivia rodrigo like i absolutely love that woman like i don't know what it is about her like at first i just related to her songs because it was sad songs and like i was a depressed little child but now genuinely i feel like even if her songs are not sad songs i will always love that woman three seconds in like i'm going to a concert in july like that's how much i love her i paid 444 dollars to see that lady so um yeah are you still in high school yes when's your birthday someone said this twice um my birthday is december 10th i was born december 10th 2008 i'm a sagittarius olivia's concert olivia oh oh my gosh oh my this is the hardest question of my life olivia rodrigo's concert of front row tickets for stranger things season five premiere 
if you guys know me, you also know that I'm a huge Stranger Things fan. Stranger Things is my favorite TV show ever. This is honestly, I can't, like, okay, to be fair, I started liking, bro, this is hard. How are you going to ask me such a question? Olivia Rodrigo's concert of front row tickets. Oh my gosh. Guys, I actually, I don't think I can actually choose, like, genuinely. Mm -hmm. I don't know who I like, but what I like more, honestly. Um, I feel like if I'm at Stranger Things Season 5 premiere, I actually have an opportunity to meet and speak and talk to the cast. Because it's a premiere, so I'm going to meet and speak with a lot of people. But from a Olivia Rodrigo's concert, I'm just singing her song. What's going on? Why is it red? But if I'm Olivia, if I'm Olivia's concert, I'm literally just singing Olivia's song. She's probably not even going to know me or see me. Um, I think I'm going to say the premiere because I feel like it comes with a lot more perks and I can get more opportunity there than I can at Olivia con Olivia's concert. But nonetheless, regardless, I'm going to Olivia's concert, baby. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was a really hard question. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. Hmm. This is a question. I don't know if I feel comfortable. It, the question says, how did you lose weight so fast? Um, next. A pic of your guy best friend in the UK if you have one. I actually don't have a guy best friend anywhere. Um, oh! No! Crap. Okay. I actually don't have a guy best friend anywhere. Um, yeah. <laughs> Lol. When you first went to the UK, what was your first impression? Um, it was cold, man. That country is a cold. Like, guys, honestly, if it's not summer, any other time of the year, that place is going to be freezing cold. Like, I'm so sorry to break it to you guys. Like, if you're planning to go there for a good, nice Christmas break, mm -mm. think twice because that place is freezing. But, um... Wait, that sounds really bad. I'm not saying don't go to the UK. I love the UK. Go there for Christmas break if you want to go there for Christmas break. I'm just saying, it. oh, I have no pulse, right? I'm just saying it's really, really cold. So bring a coat. Who is screaming outside? Just bring warm clothes, okay? But you're going to love it. It's so nice. No matter where you go, England, Scotland, England, anywhere you go in England, anywhere you go in the, the United Kingdom as a whole. I love it there. And I want to go back. Like, I literally, I want to go back right now. I want to go back to England. Yeah. <laughs> the uk as a whole like the country like the country like the the united kingdom england as a whole this the place it was a good place i like the place the school was also a good school i don't really know what to say for this i don't actually really know what to say here but um yeah yeah okay um where are you in England? Um, I was in Oswestry. Street. It's like a little small town. It's near Wales. It's like extremely, extremely, extremely close to Wales. Um, it's like 30 minutes away from Wales, actually. So yeah. Sorry. Give me a sec. Okay. How does it feel watching your parents on Young, Rich and African? First of all, guys, it's young, famous, and African, not young, rich, and African. Second of all, I don't know. Like, when I watch it, I don't... Oh! Crap. When I watch it, I don't think of them as my parents. I think of them as, like, people I'm watching on a TV show. You feel me? Where's my concealer brush? I can't find it. Anyways, I don't think of them as um my parents. I think of people I'm watching on a TV show. So when I'm watching it, I just disregard the fact that they're actually my parents. Because I don't want to be biased in any way. So if my mom does something that actually pisses me off in the show, I'm going to be like, bro, like, Ani, 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 Ani is doing too much. You feel me? So I I, t I, t I treat them like like every other cast member. Like, if someone's before my mom and I know my mom's in the wrong, I'm not going to be like, period. I'm going to tell my mom, mama, you are in the wrong here. Like, bro. Um, but it's all jokes. It's all bands, you know? Like, it's like, yeah, it's just funny. It's just funny. Mmm... Do you like the way your parents were portrayed in Young Crimson African? No. Because I think the way... I don't think I've ever actually spoken about this in, like, the lights. But I think the way my parents are portrayed anywhere is just so, so wrong. And, like, whenever I try to back my parents up and be like, nah, that's not what happened. Everyone's just like, how would you know? How are you? Just a little child. How would you know? You're not in my family. 
your you your your knowledge is based off stuff that you see on freaking safari and freaking instagram and freaking like social media i know it because i've been in the household as my friends like i like 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 i feel like people also like obviously people on social media i can't change the, everyone's perspective on social media because because people on social media will always think what people on social media want to think but obviously they will never know like the actual true story or like the actual true true like background of anything that has ever happened in my family household or anything that has happened like before i was even born like they will never actually know like do you, do you get what i'm trying to say so um i feel like what my, my parents were portrayed wasn't the best image and it wasn't completely accurate i can't say too much on that but it wasn't completely accurate and i'm just gonna leave it as that would you go into media as a profession when you say media do you mean like interviews and stuff um because when i think of media that's what i think of if if so then i don't think so no but yeah do you believe in jesus yes i believe in god i believe in jesus um i believe that there's a heaven and a hell and um i believe that one day he will come back and he's our everlasting father end of um my dream job to be an actress uh so i'm really rushing through this um my favorite book of all time my makeup is looking so bad right now um i'm actually so scared my favorite book of all time i it was it ends with us but i actually don't know honestly because i feel like because it was my first book it was my favorite book but i don't actually think like it ends with us is actually my actual like favorite book you feel me my makeup looks so bad right now guys because i do use my concealer brush what is my concealer brush <sighs> but my makeup looks really bad but no no worries i won't let that get me down um oh questions sorry my biggest fear if we're talking like fears like actual scary fears like clowns and horror movies my biggest fear is the dark i'm so afraid of the dark it's embarrassing i hate the dark if you ever leave me in the dark i will cry i will scream i will shout but the irony of that is i really want to be in a horror movie that is one of like the biggest things i really want to act in a horror movie like a proper scary horror movie um i really want to be in one my biggest fear like like actually like you know fears fears is probably failing in life like a failure in life like I'm, like my biggest fear is being like my biggest fear is just not achieving everything i want to achieve in life or like at least half of it my biggest fear is like not being able to buy food for the weekend my biggest fear is thinking of like you know like i'm so grateful that i don't have to think of what i'm going to eat tomorrow or how i'm going to get to school tomorrow or like if i'm gonna get kicked out of school because i'm not paying my school fees you know i'm so grateful for that but my biggest fear is that i'm not gonna be able to provide the same life for my kids that my parents are providing for me like i know like oh like i'm still so young and like why am i thinking of this now but honestly it's one of my biggest fears like just not being able to just not being able to provide for other people in my life and being able to provide for myself and just failure at life like that's my biggest fear honestly are all your siblings friendly, especially Nino? I mean, um, my my siblings are very friendly. <laughs> my siblings are my siblings are very friendly. All of them. Um, obviously, I don't see Justin here. Um, Kito as much as I see Nino, Zan, and Olivia because they live in America. But like, even with that, I love all my siblings equally. And yeah, Nino is nice. I don't know why, especially Nino, because he's the oldest. You guys think he's not nice or something? But Nina is very nice. Zion is nice. Olivia is nice. Ehi is nice. Justin is nice. Kito is nice. Everybody's nice. So, um, I love my siblings and they're lovely. How many people, peep mm. y'all? I'm not answering this question. <laughs> I've never dated anybody in my life. How tall are you? Two asses. Um, I'm 5'9", I like to tell people I'm 5'10", though, so shh. But I'm almost 5'10", so like, I mean, it's not really a lie, is it? <laughs> but I'm almost 5'10". I love my height. But sometimes I also hate my height, because like, it's just so annoying sometimes. Like, why am I tall? Like, why am I literally, why am I taller than everyone? Why, why am I, why is it that when I'm in heels, I'm the same height as a six foot boy? Do you feel me? So, but I, aside from that, my height is really amazing and i love my height so 
Do you have a do you have a boyfriend? Please go ask this question. No, y'all. Yeah, I'm single. Um, I plan on being single. I'm planning on a boyfriend. Um, is your father super protective of you? Yeah, he is actually. But like in the sense that like it's all jokes. Like you know, like if I tell him I'm gonna go out, he's not gonna be like, no, never leave my house. You're trapped. You're like Rapunzel. Yeah, you feel me? But he's protective in the sense like if anybody should mess with me. Bruh, best believe my dad is gonna be on your case like a mosquito in your ear, bro. Best believe it. Best freaking believe it. But yeah, I love my dad. I love him so much. What is my name? I'm genuinely confused, right? Because you follow me on Instagram. You hopefully are suppressing me on YouTube. And hopefully, you follow me on TikTok. You don't know my name. Who gonna tell them? Who gonna tell them? Y'all, my name is Isabel Nenu Uwana Idibia. That is my full name. Isabel Nenu Uwana Idibia. What's my favorite song? I actually don't have a favorite song right now. I think my favorite song right now is Yummy. Which is not, nah, that's not my favorite song. Nah. My favorite song right now is. My favorite song for a while was Addiction by Lena Brazy. But right now, I actually don't know if I have a favorite song. I think. I think I have a favorite song right now, guys. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'll have a favorite song. But right now I don't have one. Y'all, questions are almost done. Oh my gosh, how are you finding living in the UK, being in school and stuff away from family? So I'm just gonna. I'm not in England right now, obviously, but obviously. But um, it was, it was um, I got homesick quite a lot. Like, you know, I got homesick a bit, and, um, being homesick, y'all, it's not funny. Like, a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, when you go, you're gonna be so happy, and you're gonna be away from family, woohoo! And that's what I felt like, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm gonna get a break from, like, my family, and I'm gonna, like, make new friends, and I'm gonna be living with all my friends, and woohoo! But, like, guys, honestly, I got homesick so quick, and honestly, you're gonna be, like, I miss my family a lot, like, so much like there was sometimes i would just sit down and i would watch videos of me and my family and i would honestly ugly cry freaking sobbing on the floor ripping my hair out because i just miss my family so much you know um but it wasn't bad i did there was some points that i did like and i was like i'm really grateful and i'm i really like it here and i'm just happy to be with all my friends and partying every night and having sleep with all my friends all the time but then there were other times I was just like, I really want to go home. I hate the cold. I miss my mom. I need to hug my sister. I miss my grandma. I miss my dad. I miss my brothers. Like, there were just, you know, there were just those moments, you know. But aside from that, um, it wasn't bad. I think the only thing that made it bad was the fact that sometimes I would just really miss my parents and my siblings and just miss the comfort of my family or the comfort of my friends in nigeria like you know like because like first of all there were barely any nigerians in my old school and so i could i couldn't just speak to anyone in pigeon or relate to anyone in that kind of way because like everyone's sorry but everyone's white you know there were barely even black people talking about nigerians so um yeah i don't know should i contour my nose hmm Oh my gosh. Okay. Qualities you want in a guy. Tall. Kind of. What uni do you plan on going to? Okay, so my dream university is UCLA. I'll tell you my top three. One of them is very unrealistic and I doubt I'm going to get in. But UCLA, USC, and Yale. I know, Yale. Crazy, what? They have a really good acting program and they also have a good volleyball program in Yale. But I doubt I'm actually going to get into Yale. But I still just want to go because, like, it's Yale. Like, who doesn't want to go to Yale? You feel me? So, obviously, I'm still going to apply. But I don't really have high hopes for that. But I really do hope I get into UCLA because it is my, like, proper, like, dream uni and all that. How's life in London? I wasn't in London. I was in Oswald Street. And I've, I've pretty much, I've covered this. I've covered this. It was good, you know. Missed my family. Didn't miss my family. Parties every day. It was chill. We were chilling. I was vibing, you know. Yeah. 
do you like being in the spotlight i think i've also covered this i mean yes and no because it does come with some good perks but it also comes with some bad perks which you know i'd rather not have but at the end of the day i can't do anything about it you know so i have to live with it so um yeah it's cute it's i yeah period okay how old are you isabella Who's Isabella? Y'all, I'm looking for an Isabella. Isabella, where are you? Where are you, Isabella? You guys, my name is not Isabella. I don't know how many times I'm going to stress this. Even when you search my name up on Google, it's going to be like, did you mean Isabella Adibia? And I'm just like, no. I meant Isabella Adibia because that's my name isn't freaking Isabella. On my birth certificate, it says Isabel, not Isabella. Isabel isn't a nickname. My name is Isabel. My, my name is Isabel. Isabel, it's not that hard. Isabel, Isabel, Isa, anything but Isabella. If you want, call me Bella even. But do not call me Isabella, please. I'm like, I don't, I can't stress it enough. My camera is overheating. That's cute. Uh, bro, Isabelu, Belu, how tall are you? The accent change is crazy. Um, bro, I'm 15. I love my age sometimes. Actually, no, I wish I was 16, but. I'm also happy that I am 15. Um, guys, I can't talk while I do eyeliner. So honestly, I'm just going to do this and I'm going to get back to y'all in a second. How tall are you? Oh, I'm 5'9", 5'10". I thought I said, how old are you? Y'all, I'm not wearing my glasses. Alright, give me a sec, y'all. So I actually know you just did two different kinds of eyeliners. I did that. It looks kind of bummy. Oh, what is that? Anyways, it's kind of bummy up close. And I did that. Like, do you see the way, like, I don't know which is better. Help. <laughs> Actually, send help. I don't know which is better. This? Or this? I chose this one. I tried to mirror it. As much as I could. This is the mascara that I use. It's Maybelline Big Shot. Colossal Big Shot. Invest in Maybelline mascaras. Maybelline Colossal Extreme, Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. These two mascaras are the best mascaras ever. I think I like Big Shot better. It looks like this. It's very pretty. It's amazing. It's the best. It kind of finishes quick, but it's, it's the best mascara you will ever invest in in your life. Just buy five of these and just use it for like almost half a year. I promise. These will do you no wrong. This will do you so good. Would I like to be an influencer? Um, no. I mean, yeah, I would like to start off as an influencer, but that's not what I want to do with my life. Like, if you send me PR and, like, I get to be like, hey guys, I got this, use my code for ching ching off, you know, I would be happy. But, like, I don't, what I, I don't want to actually be, like, an influencer, you feel me? Like, that's not what, that's not what God put me in this, into this earth to do, okay? He did not put me into this earth to be an influencer. Thank you very much. What are you studying in school? As I said before, I'm not in uni, but I will tell you what subjects I take. So when I was in England, I took, I think, about 11 subjects. I took geography, food preparation. I took math, obviously, English, physics, science, and biology. I took PSHE. Um, oh, no, eight subjects. I think that's all I took. And in my new school in America, I only take, like, five subjects. I do fitness, which is, like, gym. I do, which is like PE. <laughs> I do um, geometry. I absolutely flipping hate geometry, you guys. No. Pick algebra instead. I do geometry. I do religion. I do health. And I do um, English. So, yeah. Isn't Tomilola just the best? My friend Tomilola sent in this question. No, Tomilola, you suck. I'm kidding. I love Tomilola. He's the best ever. And me and him are gang for life. Are you enjoying France? Obviously, I was in France. I love I love France. I love being with my friend Margot. I miss Margot a lot, actually. Um, But, shout out Margot, bro. Um, France is really good. I wasn't in Paris, Paris or anything. I was in Grenoble. Saint-Egrève. I can't pronounce it, guys. Don't don't flame me, y'all. But I was there. Because that's where Margot lives. And it was really nice. It was a really nice place. I would look want to go back again. Do some tourist stuff but the only thing i don't like about france like anywhere in france guys no one can speak english in that country i'm so sorry like obviously like you're gonna be like obviously they can't speak english in french but like you know how like okay if you go to i've never been to spain so i don't know how it is um 
if you go to like bro i don't know but you know how like oh, guys i don't know what i'm trying to say but like no one can speak english in france like they don't want to learn it they don't care about learning it. they just want to speak french and be french period end of like they don't care um what are my favorite biscuits i don't like biscuits they stink i like cookies i love white chocolate chip cookies the best and i love oreos is are oreos biscuits or cookies because when i think of cookies i think of like I think Oreos are biscuits actually. Because when I think of cookies, I think of like chocolate chip cookies or like white chocolate chip cookies or like, you know, just cookies with chips. That's what cookies are. When I think of biscuits, I think of like, like digestive and stuff. And when I think of biscuits, I mean, I think of like digestives and stuff. But what is Oreos? Because I feel like if there was no filling in Oreos and it was just a black thing, that would be a biscuit. It would necessarily be a cookie so are oreos guys comment down below do you think oreos are biscuits or, cook or cookies i don't know how old are you for real because you keep trolling sorry oh, i always tell everyone i'm 75 like i'm 75 obviously guys i don't know what you mean i'm literally 75 but if you do look in my descriptions in my youtube videos which you should definitely do so you can be intact with everything i do look in the description guys you will see my real age even though i already said it earlier on in this video but you will see the, you will see my real age that is literally all the questions. That went by really quick. Or maybe I'm just delusional. That took like 30 minutes. That took like 30 minutes. This video's gonna be like 30 minutes long. But anyways, um, when I'm done with my makeup, I'm gonna get back to you guys. Hey guys, so this is the final look for my hair and my outfit. I'm wearing this um dump him t-shirt with these blue jeans and I'm gonna wear my Adidas shoes. Or if they don't work, I might wear Converse. I don't know yet. I made a bunch of TikToks. What else? That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, comment down below what you want to see more of. Because I really don't know what to post. I'm trying to be consistent. I'm trying to be, you know. But I just, I have no ideas on what to post. I think a few people did that a while back. Oh, let's look at the poll. Wait, hold on. Let's look at the poll. Of if biscuits are Oreos or biscuits or cookies. Hopefully people have actually answered. Okay, so 45% said biscuits, 48% said cookies, 7% said neither, so cookies are winning. But thank you guys for watching this video, my camera's literally about to die. See you guys in the next video, don't forget to comment down below what you want to see more of. Tschüssi, bye!